Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a rumor that's going around on social media about somebody from that NBA gang 4K trade camp, man. And the person I'm talking about is obviously Baby Joe. Now, Baby Joe, for those of you who don't know, is a close affiliate of none other than NBA Youngboy, who's currently incarcerated. Now, Baby Joe has been an interesting figure in Baton Rouge rap. Like, his own career, you know, it's kind of been at a stalemate. But he gained prominence when NBA Youngboy started his original run, and he used to shout Baby Joe out a lot, man. I know at one point in time he had his own record deal. I'm pretty sure he's still signed or whatnot. But, man, today's news is saying that he got shot, man. Now, there's folks who are close to him or people who are supposed to be close to him who have been sending him well wishes on social media. And then, obviously, you have people from the other side who look like they're dissing. But it's kind of odd because nobody except for the person who was crying out on social media about Baby Joe getting shot is saying anything directly. So, man, you can't tell if they dissing or not. But, man, let's put this puzzle together or try to at least. But before we do that, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, so let's kick it off like this. So, Baby Joe, for those of you who don't know, was signed to Cinematic Music Group, man. In 2019, I think he had a nice little run in the hip-hop game. But, man, basically, he's been back in Baton Rouge, and this is what I'm assuming from what he puts on social media, it seems like just living. Like, most of his lives and the time that he goes live on social media, he's just cruising around in his car playing his music. You know what I mean? He's always in his car playing music. It seems like his number one thing to do when he goes live, which is, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that, right? Well, Baby Joe has been in the news before for being shot. Even back in 2019, he got shot. I believe it was like in the ear or something like that. And now he's in the news again, or at least the social media aspect of the news, not the real news. Nobody has a news report about this. Even though there was a news report about some shootings that took place yesterday where two cars, two people in two separate cars had jumped out and started shooting at each other. But I don't even know if that's connected to this story or not, man. There's no names in that, so you don't know if they're connected. But what we do know is somebody by the name of T took to social media and put out a post and basically started this whole wave of people saying, oh man, baby Joe got shot. Now, let's look at that post real quick. Okay, so all of these posts are looking like they're screenshots from somebody's story. And the one that I want to look at first, and we're just going to do these in the order of importance almost, and is this post right here where you have a lady, she looks like she's in a hospital maybe, just because, you you know, the hospitals, they have those lights that are in squares and they fit right into the wall like that. You usually don't see those in people's house. I mean, this could be a house, but it looks like she's in a hospital. She's got her mask on or whatnot. And the post says this. It says, my mama just called and I broke down. Joe, please make it. That's all I ask. And that's where everybody was like, whoa, man, this is real. So people who know who this person is say that they're associated with baby Joe or they're related to baby Joe or whatnot. And maybe that's baby Joe's mom or whatnot. Clear it up for me in the in the comments if I get a misstep on any of this. But basically saying that she was hoping that he pulled through. Now, the next post said this. In the very next post from that same account, it says this, man. It's actually a picture of baby Joe. And you see him with the hammer or the blicky or whatever you want to call it, depending on what region you're in, in his hand. And he it says, my Joe with two broken heart emojis. You know what I mean? So basically saying, my Joe with two broken heart emojis. And letting it be known that, yo, man that are hearts breaking or whatnot, man. Everybody understands the symbolism in that. Now, this is wild because this is where everybody was like, okay, so it is Baby Joe, man, because why in the world would somebody put a picture up of Baby Joe with two broken hearts and say my Joe without anybody, you know, without without something happening to them, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe if somebody was trolling, but man, let's be real. Nobody's gonna put their mom and all that into the trolling, man. It is not that serious 
to troll fans online. So, man, this is probably actual facts, according to the sources online. Like, right now, it's still a rumor, man. Now, you do have the potential for something positive to end with this because there was actually a post that was made from that same account that said that they got a call, I guess, from Baby Joe and also that he was going to pull through. So it doesn't look like this was a fatal situation if it is facts, you know what I mean? But what's wild, on the other side, you had Bang Biz One Theezy, man. Now, he's obviously associated with TBG through Fredo Bang and all that, right? And he took the social media in a post that he made. People are taking that as a diss to Baby Joe getting shot. Now, you know with Baton Rouge, this is a common thing, but it's actually slowed down for a while, man. They actually haven't been dissing as bad on social media back and forth. I think a lot of people were starting to get the message that, you know, it might not be good for business, but it looks like when Theezy wasn't thinking about that, if this is really him dissing. Now, this is what he said. Okay, so in this post, he said this simple and plain, man. He said, make them all cry with a laughing crying emoji, man. Now, that's comical and cold at the same time, man, if it has anything to do with that situation. Now, we don't know for certain. Like I said, he didn't name any names. He just put that post out there. It might not even be associated with any of that. Whatever, right? But, man, it goes to show, man, that there's still a line drawn in the sand there that ain't never going to get crossed again, man, or ever be repaired between those two sides, obviously. If all this is true, like I said, this is all alleged, man. But this is a crazy situation because Baby Joe, I don't know what he's doing, man. Like I said earlier, I don't know if he's trying to make it in rap anymore. What is he trying to do? Is he just out there in the streets doing his thing? And what a lot of people were talking about was the fact that he still lives in Baton Rouge. Like, obviously, people have their sights on Baby Joe. You know, it's been like that for a long time. Sad to say, and I hate to even say it like that. But it seems like at some point you would say, forget this, man. I'm going to pull like everybody else. You notice a lot of rappers move to Atlanta or they either move to Florida or they either move to, you know, and when I say Florida, I mean Miami to be exact. You know, most people either picked up sticks in the last year and moved to either Atlanta or Miami and, you know, they trying to enjoy life. Or if they're a rapper, they also move to L.A. A lot of people move to L.A. if they're a rapper as well. But, man, it's a weird situation, man, with these Baton Rouge cats, to be real with you, man. Because, man, they really thrive on that social media presence. And, man, as soon as something happens, you kind of get an inkling of what's going down. Now, like I said earlier, I'm not for certain that Baby Joe got shot. But that account did come back and say that he's doing all right, that he's going to soldier on. So it looks like it's not, you know, it's not a fatal situation regardless. You know what I mean? Now, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you think that Baby Joe, man, is flirting with it, man, like too much by staying in Baton Rouge and should probably, man, think about moving because you can avoid these type of situations if he really got shot? Or do you think this is a bunch of stuff that people are putting together online? He wasn't shot and this could be just trolling or whatnot, man. Are we going to throw that out there, man? This could all just be trolling, right? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.